it's Jen and it's a lovely Sunday morning it's the 18th of April and I came out to discover that the very first Marzano uh, tomato plant that I planted it's gone <clears throat> the Sun here for this time of the month has been very hot uh, about 88 degrees I think today it might might be the same 88 but during the week it's gonna be 90 which like I said before in a few past video <coughs> videos even last year that this sudden heat hot temperature doesn't we don't see this till like around maybe June Marzano tomato plant anyways this one is a second one that I put in. This one's already. So, I mean, I know they need sun, but the sun's so, so harsh. I didn't, see this one's already breaking. Look at that. This one's not gonna be no good no more. Anyways, that's my second one in the soil. These two left, or not these two, but the this little group of my seedlings left so I think maybe later in the evening after the Sun goes over us I'll probably transplant one or two okay so as you could see I'm starting to get sunlight on both sides now so the Sun's gonna come over us and all this will be full of Sun there's a good old Sun now so Pretty soon all this area will have sun. Wow, condensation, look at that. I scraped off the top soil and I added some into this pot and to this crate that I found at O'Brien's last week there's a little canopy for these young little youngsters there to keep cool as the Sun overpasses so I'm gonna have to transplant two of them one here one here I still have that bag there that I need to fill. I just need more soil. And here's what I have so far. I think the last thing I need to do is just water. I need to put some water in here. These are starting to bloom or they're gonna start flowering soon. See the flowers there. It's gonna flower soon. Maybe by next month they should be ready for uh, harvesting. Then I can maybe I can put tomatoes in here. I mean, of course, I'd have to put some nutrients or something. We'll see. Cause I'm I still have space here, and I'm planning to put that big round aluminum looks like a trough but it's a round one that we use for drinks put ice and hold our drinks for like parties but our gatherings but we're not I don't think we're gonna have any anytime soon 
So I'll probably drill some holes and set it there and put some greens maybe. I don't know. Vegetable scraps, banana peels and stuff that I'm going to bury in the ground. Alright, so I miss this here. Everything's been buried. I don't know, I might have to pick up a bin and just use it as a compost because this dirt, there's the carrot. This dirt is so hard like clay. And um, I gotta water it, but I'll water it after. I don't know, maybe it's just easier to get a big plastic bin and create a I don't know but then it's easier because it's underground and I don't, that's an, one more thing I don't have to won't take up my space <sighs> okay so my bib lettuce is gone I did I did um, sow more seeds but it, I had two beautiful little sprouts or they bloomed really nice and uh, I was here working trying to get this taken care of and dirt and stuff so I had this here and when I came to pass by my heel of my foot hit this and just knocked it over violently so the poor little thing didn't uh, didn't survive plus the Sun is just so oh look we got a little sprout there. Green onion. 